In a Moscow courtroom this morning, appearing for the first day of her trial, WNBA superstar Brittany Griner. Griner was arrested at a Russian airport in February, accused of carrying vape cartridges that contained cannabis oil in her luggage. The charge, large-scale transportation of drugs. If convicted, she could face a decade in a Russian prison, and Griner has to remain in custody for the entire criminal trial. Griner's wife, Cheryl, says the two-time Olympic gold medalist is struggling and terrified. And I told her, I said, I saw a picture, and I honestly, for a second, I thought you was insane. And so I told her, I was like, you know, I just want to tell you one thing. I said, if you are losing your mind, just be gracious with yourself because you're human, and that's okay. Griner's detainment comes amid Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine and strained diplomatic relations with the United States. The State Department saying Griner is being wrongfully detained and we have no higher priority than the safety and security of US citizens overseas. In June, I asked President Putin's spokesman about her arrest. She was coming to take part in sport in Russia, effectively trying to build bridges through sport. It's a terrible message, isn't it, that she should be arrested? It is also a terrible mes message to, to bring some forbidden essences and uh, materials to this country. And it is prosecuted by Russian laws. The Kremlin is not commenting on Russian media reports that it hopes to exchange Griner for an arms trafficker jailed in the US, denying that she is effectively a hostage. And here, Griner's wife also expressed frustrations about the Biden administration's response so far. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Kristen. She is uh, outspoken. She has called for more action, less words from the Biden administration, says that she would like to meet uh, with President Biden. You know, Kristen, I think it really doesn't help that the Biden administration was supposed to connect her by phone with Brittany Griner, and they weren't able to do that. But her wife says that she does get letters. Uh, and listen to this. Brittany Griner, six foot nine inches, says in those letters that there is a five hour round trip uh, to court in a tiny cage. Oh, here. And, uh, you know, Griner's wife also weighed in on the possibility of a prisoner swap to bring Griner back home. We've seen this happen in the past recently, in fact. What are the prospects of that actually happening again? I think it is something that Russian officials are thinking about. When I interviewed Dmitry Peskov, the Kremlin uh, spokesman, uh, Tom, when I asked about whether Brittany Griner was a hostage, he immediately turned and said, no, this, this uh, arms dealer, Victor Boot, is a, a, a hostage. So they don't say it openly now. Clearly there are some issues with that. Brittany Griner accused of having hashish oil in her luggage. Victor Boot was convicted of, of smuggling weapons. And there's another issue, too, for any government, if they agree to a transfer like this, you know, Tom, I've been back to Russia many times this year. Every time you go now, you are questioned at the airport. If they agree to a swap like this, does that just encourage governments around the world to apprehend more Americans for more prisoner transfers of that kind? Right. Tom? It's a slippery slope. OK, thank Keir you. Simmons, first of all, a lot of new reporting this morning. Keir, thank you. Such a difficult situation. Yeah, sure is. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.